Yo, 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 hey guys, Rowan here, and welcome back to my very hard, hardcore, honest hearts let's play. Ideally, this is the last episode. I don't know, though. We shall see. Um, so, I started over again because I did not murder Follows Chalk. That may make me a terrible person. Oh, I should probably introduce what I'm doing here. Over here... Ranger Substation Eagle. I never came down here. I never looted these crates. I am a terrible, awful individual, and I am horribly, horribly ashamed of my crimes. So, there's that. That's that's what we're doing here. Now I'm stuck. Nope. Okay. Now I'm stuck. Okay. Nope. We're fine. We're fine. So, yeah. I came over here. I found this. I'm just kind of hunting white legs. But yeah, ideally this will be a short episode and a final episode. Um, although I did mass murder Follows Chalk, there was no reason to mass murder, um... Oh, what's her name? The girl. Uh, hold up. I know this. Um, Waking Cloud. Yes, I didn't, I didn't cheat. Nope, didn't cheat. Waking Cloud, I knew it all along. I was testing you. Congratulations, you passed. Um, but, yeah. So, basically, I'm redoing everything I did before. Oh, and, um, extra bit of fun while we're on the subject of redoing. Um, Treacherous Road. Worst optional objective ever. First time I did it, no problem at all. Second time, um, the people that I needed to kill while simultaneously disarming the final trap kept um, running off really far away and then cowering in a corner and then I couldn't dislodge them. I don't know what the deal was. I spent hours. I'm not even kidding. Hours. Like, we're talking, you know, just tons of time out of my life trying to do this. Um, probably a good four hours, at least, trying to get it to work before I finally, um, I got it. Oh, I got it. I wasn't going to give up. Don't think that's where I was going with this. I finally caved and used turbo. Um, let's just say there is no problem in life that cannot be solved with excessive doses of turbo. Just saying. Anyway, um... I'll be back when there's actually something to do besides picking flowers, because, well, as much as everyone likes to watch me pick flowers, I'll spare you that. Alright, so, here we come to a crossroads. Joshua Graham, it's been good knowing you, pal. You've been a fantastic mummy, a worthless companion. You won't carry any of my stuff. This has gone on too long. I'm calling you out. Be my pack mule, or we're finished. The time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. Come on. No thanks. Oh, you don't say no to me. No, sir. No, you don't. No, you don't. It's on. It's on, mummy. Dance, mummy. You... You don't die very easily, do you? Yeah, you really don't want to die, huh? You gonna die sometime this century? There you go. Hey! Nope, oh, sorry. No, I can't even pick up the arm. Alright, well. Let's see here, light shining in darkness, Joshua Graham's armor. Very nice. And eat us a mummy. Nom 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 nom. Delicious mummy. Well. That was... Oh. Oh. Ooh. We got us a crime scene. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about it. Um, now, we need to stash this stuff. Get rid of the evidence, so to speak. You know. One can never be too careful. That, and in order to get uh, extra copies of this stuff, well, we need to stash it. 
But mostly because, you know, uh, stashing the evidence. Act inconspicuous. I know nothing about this. It was Caesar who did it. Oh no! Caesar came back and finished the job, and then he threw him off the Grand Canyon. Okay, um, that, that failed. And then he threw him off the Grand. Close enough. All right. Well, I'll be back shortly. Let's finish this. Finally. All right. Here we go. This is the end of Honest Hearts for us. Please, have you done everything you can for the Sorrows? Are they all accounted for? No. Hurry. There isn't any time to waste. We have to get out of here and collapse the tunnel behind us. All right, all Please, right. Please, is it time? Is everyone safe? We have to go. Move, move, move! You've done more than I could have ever hoped for. Thank you. And may God protect you for all of your days. Bye-bye. All right. Let's blow this joint. Daniel has given you a detonator that is set to detonate the C4 placed above the mouth of the Pine Creek Tunnel. Firing this detonator will collapse the passage and prevent any White Lakes from following Daniel and the Sorrows out of Zion. Alright. Let's blow this joint. Yep. Can I? Yes, use the... Okay. And we say BOOM! <laughs> And so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. After the White Legs drove the Sorrows from Zion, they celebrated by destroying all traces of the valley's former inhabitants. Ooh. They appealed to the Legion for assimilation, but were denied. Their failure to eradicate the new Canaanites in Grand Staircase and farther up the Colorado had not gone unnoticed. Ha uh ha. -huh. The White Legs made a half-hearted effort to find the new Canaanites, but were driven off by dead horses trained in the ways of Joshua Graham. The White Legs lost all hope of joining the Legion and disintegrated into a number of petty raiding bands. Leaving Zion Valley a polluted cistern. Oops. Daniel succeeded in leading the Sorrows out of Zion, as he had wanted to do from the start. The courier protected the Sorrows during the evacuation, ensuring that most reached their destination unharmed. Besides all the ones Over I the killed. weeks and months to come, Daniel would see to the Sorrows resettlement in Grand Staircase. Their adjustment to their new home was not without difficulty. But eventually, the Sorrows came to accept the loss of Zion. Having revered Joshua Graham as a living legend for so many years, the dead horses found it difficult to accept his death. New Canaanite missionaries sought to remain in contact with the tribe. But lacking Joshua's authority, their influence dwindled. Still, as an expression of enduring respect for their lost spiritual leader, the dead horses helped protect the lands where new Canaanites settled. As generations passed, the dead horses came to worship a spirit of the land, a harsh spirit of divine justice. They called it Joshua. Cool. Already weakened by several seasons of bad trading, the Happy Trails Caravan Company was initially discouraged by the results of its expedition. The fate of new Canaan and the evacuation of the Sorrows from Zion made the prospect of trading seem fruitless. When Daniel told his family about the exploits of Happy Trails employee the Courier, however, New Canaan decided to repay the company's kindness. Nice. Twice per year, New Canaanites made the dangerous journey west to trade with a company in the city of New Reno. The Happy Trails caravan company could not survive on such trading alone. But the new Canaanites' generosity made tough times go easier. Waking Cloud was distraught when she learned of her husband's death, but took comfort from her tribe and the compassion of the new Canaanites. She forgave Daniel for having concealed her husband's fate from her and learned to accept his fate. 
When her grief faded, she took a husband from the dead horse tribe. At her bidding, he stayed close to home. After a long and troubled life, Joshua Graham finally found rest in Zion. Happy to help. In the end, his unswerving militancy had accomplished what the NCR's finest sharpshooters and Caesar's wrath could not. The new Canaanites took comfort in the belief that their brother's soul would again dwell in Zion at the end of days. After leading the sorrows from their home in Zion to safety in Grand Staircase, Daniel continued to wonder if he'd made the right choice. He spent his life evangelizing the beliefs of his people to a new generation of young men and women, as his ancestors had for centuries before him. He was happy with his family, but for the rest of his life, there were nights when he awoke with sadness to find he had been dreaming of Zion. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. Because the courier, the courier never changes. All right. And look at this. Light shining in darkness. Chalk's headdress. Daniel's hat. Daniel's outfit. Joshua Graham's armor. Silk palm wounds. Helmet. Power fist. And some scripture. And then... Wait. Wait. Oh, oh! I like had a moment where I thought these were gone. Woo! That's an unpleasant moment. Okay, we just want to double check. Was it a light shining in darkness? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh yes. And then we got us. You know where? Ah. Some, uh, Joshua Graham's armor. Yes, please. And, of course, Chalk's headdress. Alright, well. Wait. Can I... I was gonna say. Well, we're only carrying 6,000 pounds of supplies. Just a normal walk through the park for me. So, see you guys back in the Mojave. <laughs> Alright, so, actually... I'm briefly back, and uh, we're trudging, because I did discover that there is one more quest left to do here. Departing Paradise. A minor task, to be fair. But a quest is a quest, is it not? Does not every quest need to be treated equally? Can we hold a single quest accountable for its contents, whether great or small, a quest deserves our respect, and we should treat it as equals, and we shall not scoff in the face of a minor quest, no we shan't. Yes, we shall. Complete that quest. Alright. This is pretty random, but on my trudge back, I found this. Right here. A hunting right. Just sitting here. Okay. Well then. Don't know what that's about, but okay. Free stuff is free stuff. I'll take it. So, I've been going around gathering money for my trip to Old World Blues coming up here. And I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. Um, I did go, I played a little bit of Caravan, but to be honest, I'm sick of Caravan. Oh man, am I sick of Caravan. Um, but I've been uh, selling these, Legion Denariuses. They're from my Legion Supply Cache, which we looted a ton of, and they're worth four caps each. I'm not going to sell these because these are rare. And I haven't been trading in the NCR money because, well, you know, eh. But those are really, really common in the Legion supply caches, and they trade for four caps each. So I've been cleaning out all the merchants. Um, I'm up to 66,687, and I discovered something. Look at that. 
Look at that caps. Look at that caps. Look at that caps. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, look at those caps. So, I'm gonna take those caps. I want those caps. Those shiny caps. Get in my pockets. I have a feeling this is gonna take a while. I'll see you in a while. Alright, sometime later. Booyah! Booyah! 105,000 caparoonies! In my shiny little pockets is so well our traveling expenses are covered yes they are so now we need to make some other preparations oh I just wanted to point out something as well that I realized um, I should have done the emergency radio a lot more because Forevermore, I am going to uh, have support withdrawn. And I have to wear this ridiculous costume to go into NCR areas or they shoot me on sight. So, you know, there's that. So, let's prepare. We are just... We are just, you know... We're really knocking it out of the park. We're we're bringing things down step by step. Oh, I did also find out another problem. So, science. It's too high. I'm gonna end up wasting a skill book. I'm wasting two points from a skill book. Because, and, well, I messed up. I didn't realize there was two science books in Old World Blues. Brings it up to 98, and then there's one more in Dead Money, which means two points wasted. I really honestly can't tell you folks if I'm going to max out all skills. I may, I may fail to. I may do it. I really, really, truly don't know at this point. Um, you know, I could crunch the numbers... But I'm just going to roll a bit. If I find out that I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to get moody and sad and probably cry a little bit. So, you know, let's continue on. Sometimes it's just best not to think about the bad things in life. And let's dwell on the positives. Positives being, well, oh, I don't want to carry this raider armor. That's that's not positive. I was gonna point out just to just to clarify that positives being we're almost done. <laughs> we're almost done with all our new Vegas. I love this game, but I need to finish it. I I really need to, you know, just just do it. Just just finish. Just end it once and for all. You know. Retire from the adventuring life. Maybe, maybe me, Eddie, Graham, Graham, Veronica, um, you know, uh, oh, what's his name? Grumpy Gus, Raul, um, maybe we could all, you know, get someplace, you know, together, you know, live as a big happy family. Because we certainly wouldn't all fit in this shack. No, we wouldn't. Alright, so... We need to prepare quick. Alright, we're gonna do this. We're... We're ready to go. That's all there is to it. I am bringing that survivalist rifle, and that's all there is to it. Um... I do need to also bring my industrial hand. Yes, I do. Because this is my... Yes, repair. Thank you, little guy. Industrial hand is sorted. About time. <laughs> Alright. And we're gonna drop all this stuff off. And I believe I stashed my armor for safety. Man, I got a lot of money now. It's more than I actually intended to have. But, uh, it'll do. It'll do. 
Better than being broke is a joke. And we're definitely going to want to take care of all of our, uh, you know, sleeping and eating and watering ourselves. Oh, look at that. I put that toy car there for display purposes. Whoops. Let's see. Let's get our sleep taken care of. Yeah, yeah. Hungry level increased. What are you going to do about it? Just what are you going to do? Nothing. That's what you're going to do about it. Absolutely nothing. Okay, get my armor, and we're gonna stash some of this junk. I mean, wonderful stuff that I absolutely adore. Um, man, I can't believe it. I've been wanting to do Old World blue Blues, Old World Blues for a long time. Long, long time. So I am really excited about this. This is, this is awesome to me. We are going to get ready to rock and roll. You know what? We're just going to... going to take one now. Take one once we reach our destination. How's our radiation? Oh, you know what? That's, that's no good. We're going to take one of these. Yes, we are. Um, I should probably bring some stuff. should probably put my, my gear on. Probably would be, you know, somewhat advisable. They tend to recommend bringing along, you know, some gear just in case. I don't think I need to bring any stealth boys, to be honest. Yeah, I think there should be plenty there. Oh, oh, that, hey. Hey, hey, you got it out. What I should bring is some weapon repair kits. Handload draw. Now we we need to we need to get this problem resolved right here now, Edster. Edster, we have we have problems here to resolve. All right, Edster, let's do this thing. Let's make some ammo. And we're gonna break down. We're gonna break it down now. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we roll. We break it down. Break it down, you know, line by line. Ex you know, explaining in detail, you know, each, you know, adjective. I, you know, I just, I'm, I'm lost now. I confused myself. It's okay. That's, that's something that I'm very prone to, to having occur. All right, let's make the sweet ammo. Yes, please. Yes, please. Load me up with that sweet, sweet, sexy ammo. Yes, please. All right. Probably more than I actually need. Oh yeah, it's way more than I actually need. But, booyah. Can we make any more? Probably not. That's okay. No, that's fine. All right, so now I need to uh, probably reduce my amount of ammo. Um, you know what? I think um, 300 shots is probably fantastic. Um, maybe grab a couple weapon repair kits just for good measure, I think. You know, you can never be too careful. Maybe uh, five weapon repair kits. You know what? Just in case, let's um, let's bring a couple stealth boys with two. All right, all right. Um, you two can leave now. Oh, again. Yeah, I'm sorry, Grandma. Get out of here. Nice children. Yep, 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 yep. Get out of here, Eddie. Don't give me that tone of voice, you. Go on. Go back to where you came from. Thank you. All right. I'm really excited. Let's see here. Let's do this thing. Where is it? I don't even know where it is. Mojave driving. That's it. Ow! Now it's... Wrong time of day. 
Well, them's the brakes, I suppose. Them's the brakes. Well, um, eh. I tell you what, I'll see you folks when it's time. All right, see you then. All right, here it is. Creepy looking eyes staring at me. Let's start old world. Blah, 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 blah. Let's start old world blues, shall we? But you know what? We're gonna start it next episode. See you guys next time. Bye bye. So long. Take care. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section below. See you guys next time. Bye bye.